South Koreans crossed the border with North Korea on Tuesday to meet family members they've not seen since the 1950-53 Korean War. After the negotiated end to the recent armed confrontation across the border, the two Koreas agreed to restart the reunions. The reunion of 90 South Koreans and 96 North Koreans, the 20th of its kind, will be held at the resort in the north, mostly in a large ballroom under the watchful eye of officials. Oh Chol Hwan, a 77-year-old South Korean, will be reunited with her older brother. I feel really thrilled and happy. I just couldn't sleep until 2 a.m. I'm 77 years old and my brother is 83 years old. I want to see him. I want to see him right away. One South Korean was unsure what he would say after 65 years of separation from his older brother. I can't think of what to say. We're being reunited after 65 years when I was 11. I want to ask if he can recognize me. A guidebook distributed to the elderly South Koreans chosen by lottery to meet family members includes a long list of do's and don'ts, mostly don'ts. The booklet provided by the Red Cross, which organizes the reunions, advises South, Koreans, advises South Korean participants not to press for answers on topics such as the North's political leadership or living standards. After staying overnight at a resort near the border and undergoing medical checkups, the South Koreans boarded buses which drove through the heavily fortified land border. The reunions are politically important for the South, where 66,000 people are on a waiting list to see long-lost relatives, a number that is shrinking fast, while the North also seeks to maximize their domestic propaganda value.